This is Stan Avey from the Oldest Spice and School District with an introduction of Common Core Standards. This presentation is intended for all involved in education, including the staff, students, and parents of the Oldest Spice and School District. It is my goal that all stakeholders will have a better understanding of the Common Core Standards and its implications for our school district. All ISLAC state standards could be applied to the Common Core Standards. However, in my opinion, these are the most important. Standard 1 states that uh, the educational leader promotes the success of all students by facilitating the development, articulation, implementation, and stewardship of a vision of learning that is shared and supported by the school community. We need to ensure that the students have the knowledge, skills, and values that's needed to, that they need to become successful in this 21st century. Standard 2 promotes the success of all students by advocating, nurturing, and sustaining a school culture and instructional program that's conducive to student learning and staff professional growth. We are, as a district, we need to be committed to prepare our students to become contributing members of society in the 21st century. Standard 4 promotes the success of all students by collaborating with families and community members while mobilizing community resources. Not only is it important to collaborate with faculty in our school community, it is also important to collaborate with faculty and other institutions over the implementation of Common Core Standards. The development of Common Core Standards was an initiative of the National Governors Association and the Council of Chief State School Officers in order to provide consistency across states. Common Core Standards are aligned with college and work expectations so that all students are all prepared for success upon high school graduation. Common Core Standards are focused and coherent. The standards are clear to the faculty and students and reflect the progression of learning that is more appropriate. Common Core Standards build upon strengths and lessons of current state standards since we all know that it is not necessary to reinvent the wheel. Many of the standards will be still included, just with different terminology. Common Core Standards are benchmarked so that all students are prepared to succeed in our global economy and society. These are internationally benchmarked by a more rigorous content found in other high-performing countries, as well as applications of higher order skills. Common Core Standards are research-based as well. With demographics, Otis Bison has very few students with IEPs and essentially no ELL students which are identified. However, we do need to understand that Common Core Standards provide a greater opportunity for us to share both pra our best practices within and across the states, which can lead to improvability to students with disabilities and ELL learners. Our district have met, has met AYP in both buildings as well as district-wide. As mentioned above, our subgroups are small that no scores are reported. Impl implications for teaching or now what? Now that 48 states have signed on to Common Core Standards, I'm sure many are wondering how can we teach these standards effectively and efficiently? So, what is needed for implementation? There needs to be an intense professional staff development and training for all staff. And there will be opportunities for training this year through our service center. Strong leadership from above is needed. Educational leaders should use their enthusiasm to motivate their colleagues. There should be a clear communication between administration, teachers, 
parents, and students. Our school community should be made available to answer questions such as, how will these standards help my child? And teachers will need to refocus or rethink how we educate the students. This will perhaps include utilizing new teaching material as these standards will be a shared responsibility or a cross-curricular teaching, if you will. Also, methods of assessing these standards locally will also have to be determined. One question that may be on everyone's mind is, how are these going to be assessed? From personal con conversation with the State Department of Education on this issue, it's still unanswered. However, this is a timeline on the KSD website. The past school year, 2011, there was no changes. This coming school year, 2012 school year, there will be a few changes with some items piloted. Some of the Kansas indicators, which are no longer aligned with Common Core, will be dropped. In 2013, there will still be some changes with more items re being replaced. Also in 2013, the reporting will be based on Common Core standards rather than the Kansas indicators. 2014, there will be greater changes with an update assessment framework and test specification document. And by 2015, the assessment of these Common Core standards will be fully operational. With any change in the educational reform, there will be an advantages and disadvantages. Hopefully, the benefits of the Common Core standards do outweigh the disadvantages. It's been said that math is math and reading is reading no matter if you live in Kansas or Hawaii. With Common Core standards there will be more consistency between states making it easier for students who move from school to school within our state or from state to state. The focus. As with other curriculum in other high achieving countries Common Core Standards will bring more focus to the U.S. curriculum and thus boosting the competitive advantage of American students. Efficiency and quality of assessments. Under the new education reform, it won't be necessary for each state to develop its own assessment. One or two, are, one or two assessments are more efficient than 50. Furthermore, more creativity could be involved, meaning more animated and engaging assessments. And finally, to make it possible for educators to work within the state or coast to coast as they implement new learning activities and best practices. There are several states that have rejected Common Core standards two of them being Alaska and Texas, so that uh, there are some seeing disadvantages of having this type of reform. One argument is they're unproven, cost prohibitive, and that is the national standards and the tests. One governor will not commit his state taxpayers to fund this. Overall cost is a major concern. There's a, there's a potential cost of new textbooks and teacher training. Convincing school staff that Common Core standards can come up with a vastly superior product than our own state assessments. There's fear that there will be less local control in the classroom. Accountability. Who will make sure that the schools follow the standards? I guess, though, that's what we have the, the assessments for. Here are some questions that, uh, that are frequently asked. And these questions were found on the KSDE website. And there's uh, several more on that website. But one question that 
has been frequently asked is, is having Common Core standards the first step towards a national curriculum? And that answer is no. It's a state-led effort to prepare students for the 21st century. The federal government was not involved in developing any of the standards. Will the Common Core standards keep local teachers from deciding what to teach or how to teach? And again, that answer is no. The local school community will decide how these standards are met. A third question, how will these standards affect teachers? They will help teachers implement effective strategies to help students reach the benchmarks by the end of their school year. Will more standards mean more tests? No, smarter and better tests that helps the students and the teachers. And will the Common Core standards be updated? Yes, it's going to be ongoing. It will be a state-led developmental process. In conclusion, more than 40 states have adopted the Common Core standards, with Kansas being one of them. The standards for proficiency in English language arts and mathematics were developed in collaboration with teachers, school administrators, and education experts. I feel that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, and I urge everyone to go to ksd.org and the sidebar, Common Core Stated Standards Initiative, and from here you see all the standards as well as frequently asked questions as well, myths that surround the initiative. Again, I urge everyone to take time to read this. Here are some references that I used to prepare this presentation. Thank you for your participation.